Yeah, a girl dropped it off a week and a, a couple weeks ago, about two weeks ago, I guess. We didn't know nothing about an ear abscess until then, and then we Googled, and now we're here. Well, it's kind of a little bit of Yeah. When did you guys notice it? So when she brought it. It was already like this. She brought it because of it. She didn't know what to do with it, so she brought it and dropped it off and said, you'll know what to do with it. Okay. And when did you drop it off? About two weeks ago. Okay. Came from that oh, oh, t shirt shop in Daytona Beach. Yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> from a bucket of dirty, dirty water. And I think she had it about six to nine months. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, it's really unfortunate because they sell those and they don't ever tell people that they grow real big and they need big cages and they don't ever get proper care. And it's really. Um, has the abscess gotten bigger or has it been about the same? Yeah, same. Okay. I tried to, well, I mean, I would let it dry out and everything. But it didn't do it. Okay. <laughs> Any discharge coming from it? That's what I say. It's got a little spot. In just right now. Right. That's just now recently. Okay. Is it eating, drinking normal? Absolutely. And how's the um, urine st or stool output? Are you guys able? He's in a stainless steel um, uh, enclosure, and okay. so he's had a bowl. I just dump it out, so I really don't know that I can tell you like texture. Okay. I put him like a little private, sink, like yeah, a sink, like here, Scott, your sink, stainless steel. Then we like put a piece of wood and in it. Okay. So I've been trying to keep it dry. Raw, with the thing on the thing so I put it in really clean okay. and dry was our focus. We have a whole bunch of yellow belly sliders because we adopt, right? Mm -hmm. But it's our first ever experience ever with a ear abscess. But I read it's pretty common. Yeah, we must see I mean, it can be. It's, yeah. it's mainly like improper care. Uh -huh. It's like with dirty water. That's what I read. Answer. Um, any sneezing or anything like that? Any mm -hmm. discharge from the nose? Mm -hmm. Have you guys treated it with any medications or anything? Mm -hmm. well, I did try to put some of that one stuff she gave me. Oh yeah, the, the silver oxide, something, something, okay. something. We call it our reptile remedy. Yeah, the sulfur sulfidizing. Yeah, that's it. We thought if we can fix them up. I don't know if he was wild caught. She thought he, the guy said he was wild caught, so we might just release it back out. Uh -huh. no? She said she got it from a Daytona. No, I know, but she said the Daytona shop owner said it was wild caught. Yeah, the shirt, the t-shirt shop I owner. A whole bunch of I know, but he said he caught it for tur tourists. Awesome, appreciate it. Absolutely. He was sticking his head out there. Mm. Get ready to get pad and poke. Come on, buddy. It's gonna be okay. Man, that tortoise that you helped us with got all better so Did fast. It? Oh man, it was like instant better. So do you know what this thing was eating? I have no clue. She just dropped it off right there. Okay. It's been eating my Missouri tortoise diet. Okay, good. So my guess is probably hypovitaminosis A. Yeah, I don't know. She just went. Uh, 
Um, they get the ear abscesses from that. So is that a deficiency? Yeah, they don't eat the right foods and they're not in the sun and they're, you know, just kind of like... kidding me. So they'll end up with, um, they get these abscesses, so... Because of the vitamin like deficiency? like blackworms too, yeah. not human blackworms. Yeah, that's good. That's the right kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. That's um, crazy. So typically what I'll do is try to um, sedate them and lance that and flush it out a little bit and then get them on the right type of diet and they do pretty well. Like um, yeah. Do you guys want to um, have me get started, give a little vitamin inje injection tonight and then have them drop off like tomorrow to take care of the abscess? Oh, so it's a long procedure? Yeah, it's nothing I can do tonight. Oh, um, it's not. Um, yeah, you can just All right. Okay. All right. Let me get you an estimate. Okay. Awesome. All right. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I was gonna take. <laughs> yeah, he needs help, right? Uh, okay. So now, if you're saying that he needs to, a proper diet to get over it, then we'll probably just go ahead and keep on to him no matter what. Yeah. So it's gonna be, um, you know, the worms are good. Uh, making sure that they get appropriate turtle pelleted food and then the full sun is super important so when they're inside and even the uv lights aren't good enough no, so you want to get them out in the sunshine so in the greenhouse, so yeah. in the greenhouse yeah. give it just yeah. free i got i got um i put 50 50 um plastic on it okay i got a 50 50 poly over it okay it so, right about 90 degrees so the big thing though is you have to check the uv filtration of that because i know if if the light goes through glass they don't get what they need oh. so you're going to end up needing to get them out in the actual sunshine too Okay, yeah, super important. Well, I can pull the glass and roll it on. Well, check the UV first. Oh, yeah. Get a UV meter. It's, it's greenhouse, it's growing. Yeah, but you have to check though, yeah. because the plants do okay without the full spectrum. They'll still grow, but animals, especially the reptiles and birds, things like that, they need, they need the light. Uh -huh. So just check on that, okay? Yeah, yeah. If not, you might be able to just do a section of it, screen instead of, or maybe something you roll back or have an indoor outdoor Beside their screen, yeah. so they yeah. have yeah, both, but get a UV meter. We need a UV meter in here. All right, I'm going to get a pharmacy <laughs> yeah. to drop them off, okay? okay thank you. All right, cool, guys. Give me a second. Yeah, yeah, hang on. Just stay right, oh, right here. Just I'll be right back. All right. Okay. Does it look skinny? Mm -hmm. I know it eats mm -hmm. good. I know it does too. Twenty four hours later. Yeah, I like that. Um, looks like hummingbirds or butterflies like it too. It's gorgeous. Special bucket. Give him nothing. You already gave him everything that he needs. We already give injections. Right. Okay, honestly. yeah, yeah. Got it. So, dry dot. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, awesome. That's yeah. awesome. So, so we'll leave him dry for a little while? Yes. Um, mm -hmm. all right. Awesome. Very good. Oh, we'll leave him dry before... um, 
It's in here probably. Seven days. Seven days. Oh, seven days no water? Yeah. Just give them a little bit of water. A water for a bowl, yeah. For drinking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, just a little, little cap? Just a little bit. Okay. Yeah. So I don't want to... Should I... Um, should I put any of that... Um, she gave me cream. What's called? Silver oxidine, I something, something, something. I don't know. It, whatever the directions say. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. I, I'm it's just on the second that page. That she gave me for, for my animals. So should I put a little it's good for any reptiles, you think yeah. so? Um, so, just um, uh, a glass of warm water and uh, clean the uh, wound. And then you can uh, apply the silver cream. Um, it's best to use the cotton here. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Okay, thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Yes, ma'am. Um, what, what do you mean, like, it swells back up, or? Um, it swells, uh, up. Um, pus, or yucky stuff. Don't get any pus, don't get any, um, blood. Okay, okay, I got it. Okay, I got you now. Hey, thank you. Uh, no we appreciate you guys, like, always. Yeah, somebody gave me this. They couldn't afford to bring them here, so I brought them here for them, a little girl. Aww. So, thank you. You're welcome. Yes, ma'am, thank you. Awesome. Oh, little guy's a little better, hopefully. It's the most expensive free turtle I've ever had. <laughs>